But first, the fourth overall choice, Tyler Hopkins, going to the Kingston Frontenacs. What does it mean? You put on the hat, you put on the jersey. Uh, you know, what does this mean to you uh, becoming part of the Kingston Frontenacs organization? Yeah, it means the world. Uh, watching the OHL over the years and uh, seeing all the games, being at games, it's it's just an honor to be drafted to such a high, high class organization like the Kingston, Kingston Frontenacs. When you think of watching OHL games, whether on TV or going to games in the past, who are some of the names that jump out that you thought you know, you're a big fan of? Yeah, like over the years, like seeing Connor McDavid play in the league and guys like Alex the Brinkett, uh, like those guys, they're just they're high end NHL players, and seeing that I'm coming through the same league as them, it's a really big honor to me. You kind of stole my thunder. What is this? You know, you almost like pinch yourself a little bit that right now you're chosen in the same spot as uh, guys that have come through the league like that. Yeah, it's 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 humbling and honoring at the same time because you're following in some of the footsteps of some very great hockey players, and it's uh, you don't it's, it's really hard to even imagine what like what's going through my head right now it's just tons of crazy thoughts tell me about the conversations you've had and the visit you had with the uh, kingston frontenacs organization yeah it was it was very high class the the kingston frontenacs treat they uh, treated me very well it, kingston's a great city with a lot of rich history and uh it was it was amazing special night for your halton team uh, tell me about the uh, season you guys came off of here yeah it was a really special season with some of those guys i've grown up with them uh, playing with them over the years it's been really special seeing guys like tanner and Shafe getting picked it's uh it's really uh, it's really uh, honoring as the as the captain of that team and it's uh, it's a really special feeling what's it going to be like playing against them though over the next couple of years <laughs> yeah it's definitely not going to be fun playing against Shafe because how good he is but uh, it's all it's going to be really cool playing against him in this league same with lammer and the guys that That'll be drafted soon. You can't give it away now, but you're going to have some tips for your Kingston teammates playing <laughs> against some of your old teammates? Yeah, I'll have a couple books, uh, a couple <laughs> knocks on Shafe. Hopefully I can expose him a little bit, but that's pretty hard with a guy like him. But, yeah, for sure we'll, we'll try and take him down. Might he have a book on you, though? He probably does. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what's up for you over the next couple of months to get ready to come to uh, camp in the fall? Obviously, like, what the biggest thing is getting bigger, getting stronger, uh, playing in a league with older boys. Uh, you got to be a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger to, to compete, and that's probably the biggest thing that's, that's in my agenda right now. Finally, who's helped to get you uh, to this point? I'm assuming some, some people are hanging around here with you tonight here as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, obviously, first of all, my family, my mom, dad, and my younger sister, they've uh, they have been all over the place sending me to early practices and been all over the place for me. And then probably my coaching coaching over the years, especially Daryl Giancola, that was my coach this year. He's uh, he's helped me tremendously through um, through mentally and, and physically through hockey, and it's he's been He's been, it's been really special. Congratulations. Welcome to the Ontario Hockey League. Congratulations on wearing these Kingston Frontenacs colors. We'll see you in the fall. Thank you.